Uh, oh yeah, I guess we should feed Barong. I guess yeah, I guess it's that time of day. So yeah, we'll do it in the hallway where monsters are less likely to interrupt. Or I guess okay. What man, all these stupid elevation bits. I want someplace okay, good. Flat ground. And then what do we got to feed this guy? What do you get to eat today? I guess you can chew on here. Fetch. Throw a stick. Good boy. What do we got? Truth. I actually kinda wanna use this. Just to see. Bloom. Worthless. Hazak. 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 Okay, trap. Um, but oh, whoops. I'm sorry, Meef. I didn't mean to do that. Here. Um. There. All better. Oh, and that actually wasted the item, too. Do I have anything else that I can feed him? Not really. So, yeah, back in the bag you go. And then... And then what? I guess we just go find another item, I suppose. Um, is there... Oh, there is a thing over there. I totally screwed up my map reading. Oh, boy. Okay. What about... Oh, boy. It's a monster! Scary! <laughs> yeah, alright. Oop. And we got a height advantage this time? We can one-shot this guy. Damn it. Oh, well. Close. I'm sure that was close. What the hell? Oh, wow, that's a dead end. That's the deadest end I've ever seen. <laughs> actually, did I do any... Did I actually experiment with Minova at all? From what I recall, they actually can do some pretty interesting things with their uh, morph ability. Like, you can, like, turn into items and, like, hold on to items or something. I actually don't remember how Minovas work. Just that they had, like, they could do weird things with the morph ability, but I don't remember exactly what. I might might actually have to experiment with that. Ooh, glasses. Uh, that can go to Barong. Okay, Barong, it is time for you to visit the optometrist. Cool, and you get a bell for your... I don't know. Guess he didn't need the glasses after all. Exit, worthless. Ooh, mace or a hammer. That's actually worth something. I will keep that. There's, there's actually some funny stuff you can do with that as well. So yeah, the troll equipment... Uh, first of all, it can be equipped on your... Wow, really? Wow, optometrist... I guess this really was the optometrist's office. Uh, oh, and there's the exit. Okay, so yeah, I guess we got a lot of glasses to feed him now. Uh, truth... Or actually, star glasses might actually be useful later, so we'll feed him the truth. And he spits up... Star! Okay, then. Um, Peta, and I guess this is the, la this is the last... This is the last of the Petas. So, yeah, better make him count. Or actually, we might as well pick up the star and see if we have anything less useful to feed him. We do not. So, yeah, enjoy your star glasses. I actually have no idea what the sell value is of, of star glasses, actually, now that I think of it. They, uh... Like, yeah, it's, it's an item I pretty much always use as soon as I get it. Uh, decurse, useless. Unless I'm, like, an idiot, and... Ooh, sea seed? Wind seed. Garbage. If I feed him the wind seed, will that take change his element? I'm just gonna assume that it will. Anyways, that's all for this floor. Man, still no goddamn sea seeds. Okay, at least one of these two's gotta be a sea seed. No, it doesn't, apparently. Jeez. And this is, this is gonna be the last barong feeding time, too. Can I feed him copper coins? Is that a thing I can do? Kinda curious. But I don't think I'm gonna bother. I'm just gonna feed him things I know I can feed him. Oh, was that a pita? N there it is. We got it. What are we gonna use it on? Ooh. You're gonna get it. Oh. I kinda wanna exit right now just to make sure I don't fuck this up. 
Whoa, that is valuable indeed. We can get any monster in the game. Straight up. It's just ours. The monsters are ours for the picking. I have never ever seen that thing before. Rochefute. Tur tur revert a monster to an egg. We, we could get ourselves a killer. We could get a block. We get another, uh... Another Meef. I guess, if we wanted. We could get a Maximum. We could show off the Maximum. I know the Maximum is good. Uh... Oh, wow. Wow. I, th I think we're I think we're gonna go whole hog, because... I don't know, that was... Not a lot of barong, barong feeding to get that Roche fruit. I mean, we could... We could go for the block, and then try to get another Roche fruit, and then fuse the block to... Oh yeah, that, that reminds me, actually. I fucked up uh, my description of the monsters uh, last time when I was talking about the killer. Uh, the killer's special ability is not double attack. Uh, the, the Axe Hands dudes from the big long tower run where we met Beldo. Um, yeah, Axe Hands does not double get double attack strength from his special trait. Um, I actually don't remember what it is that he gets, but yeah, Arachne was the uh, double attack strength monster. So yeah, you, fu you fuse the block with the Arachne, and then you get a double HP, double defense, or no, a double, a double attack, double defense monster. Um, I think Naplas, now that I think of it, actually had the uh, double HP trait. I remember that from the one run where I had Naplas as uh, kind of my main familiar for a while. At least I think it was... I think he had double HP. I think that was a trait that he had. Or maybe it was just... No, the sleeping was a spell that he had, so yeah, it was definitely definitely double HP was his trait. 100% certain. It cannot be otherwise. Like I said before, every time I say something, it's 100% right. Even when I contradict myself and say that, yeah, Killer is double attack strength, except no, he isn't. I know the Killer's passive had something to do with attack power. Maybe... Maybe never misses, I think. Like 100% hit rate. Or maybe crits. That was it. I think, yeah, that was it. Um, yeah, maybe the killer always crits. I think that might have been it. Except I don't think that's true, because the one time I did see him attack, he didn't crit. So I don't know. Whatever. We don't even care about the killer. We want the Arachne. That's the one we want. I mean, I guess we could just dive and go get one. That's definitely something we could try. Or I guess, is it Arachne or Block first? I think it's Arachne first. So... Man, I guess, yeah, we just... No, other than that, though, yeah, we just... No, the main thing, though, is the CC. Yeah, like... Yeah, diving is not what we want to do at this point. We would just want to explore the floors while the monsters are easy, try to get as much treasure as possible so as to increase our odds of finding... That godforsaken seed that doesn't appear to be anywhere. Used to be you could find, like, the elemental seeds all the time, just lying all over the place, just growing on trees, practically. Are there trees in the tower? I don't think there ever are. Actually, you know what? I think some of the, uh... I think there are trees at some point in the tower, now that I think it's like, you know, there's in some of the rooms there's those little wooden, like, I don't know, popsicle stick towers or something sticking out of the ground. I think those are trees on one floor or another. Oh yeah, that's right, we got, uh, oh, blue sand. We can use that immediately. Oh, we got a red sand, too. When did that happen? Yeah, let's use that right the hell now. What are we, like, plus ten now? Plus nine. Close. Very close. I think the, the shield is going to be plus ten now. Oh yeah, I, I guess I can see it right there. So yeah, that was not a very impressive guess there, was it? Awesome. This is actually much higher than I usually get my equipment. Like, yeah, like I said, like I've been saying all this time, usually I beat the game by the time I get my equipment this high, but... And it's not even really... Oh. Okay. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, I'm just as likely to get seeds up here as I am down there. Whoops. Um, you know what? Let's just avoid monsters. They're just they're kind, of, kind of a waste, waste of time fighting them at this point. Although, if they're asleep, uh, yeah, might as well harass them like so. 
Oh, and we get a wind crystal. Lovely. Get to stock up on some of those, get to do some more maintenance runs. Uh, Oline, it's pretty useless. We aren't going to encounter any monsters we can't handle, certainly, on this run. Or unless we go end up going, like, super deep, but, uh... God, hopefully we don't have to go super deep. If there's one thing I hate when, yeah, going sea seed hunting, it's going super deep. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this guy, but... I prefer to do it with the elevation advantage. Honestly, I could probably just kick his ass as is. Or I could just duck him. Because he doesn't really seem to... I don't know what he's doing. He's like swerving all over the... Are, are you swimming drunk there, buddy? Is that what's... Oh. No, there's there's our height advantage, at least. Yeah, look at this guy. This guy passed out here. Man, these U-boats are like a, a bunch of like drunken Russian sailors or something. That's actually pretty awesome. I, if I had... If my channel were like big enough, I would love to like request for my viewers to like draw fan art of that. Drunken Russian sailor U-boat. Or not U-boat, not sailor, what's the word? Submariner? Dudes in, dudes in, like, submarine crews. Like the dudes on, uh... What was, oh, what was the name of that? That submarine movie. Das Boot. I remember seeing Das Boot way back in the day when I was, I was, or, yeah, way back in the day when, like, Blockbuster existed. And you would, like, rent movies at a, like, a movie rental store. They're actually like like a brick and mor brick and mortar, what they call them, a brick and mortar store. Uh, and anyways, yeah, I was really big into like movies back in those days. Uh, particularly, like I I would delve into the foreign film section uh, in particular. Yeah, I watched a lot of Japanese movies, like not just like anime and stuff. They had a separate section for anime, which I don't get me. I also watched a lot, pretty much everything in the anime section. At uh, it wasn't actually Blockbuster. It was uh, Rogers Video, was the movie rental chain nearest my house uh, when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, I watched pretty much everything out of the anime section, and then once I ah, oh, come on, don't, don't do that. And come to think of it, I, I pretty much lived at the frickin' movie store. I mean, not really, because you don't really have to live there to use it. You just take a movie or video game or whatever, and you just, uh... Yeah, have it for a while. But yeah, yeah, I rented... Oh man, now that I think of it, I, I rented so many movies and so many video games at Roger's Video. I probably rented out, like, pretty much absolutely everything that they ever stocked in the anime, foreign, and... Pretty much every video game as well. Uh, pretty much but every every yeah every foreign film, anime, or video game that passed through that store, I rented. And I'd even buy a lot of them too when they like sometimes when they'd be like clearing out the shelves and they'd like they'd put stuff up uh, for sale. Like they'd sell their old used uh, old used like video games and movies that were going out of stock. And I got I got so much and it, it was like really cheap prices too because you know this stuff was all like heavily used. Those were their old rental copies, so I got, I got like, ridiculous deals on some of that stuff. Yeah, I, re I remember I got, I got Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle for like, uh, for like 10 bucks or something like that, which was crazy. That, ga that game's like pretty rare, I believe it. Or it's not like super rare, but, uh, it it's fairly sought after these days, as I understand it. Hell, I, I got Misadventures of Tron Bond for like 15 bucks. Which is, uh, that that certainly goes for a hell of a pretty penny these days. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I'm so... Oh, man. I, I honestly, I really kind of miss the rental stores. Like, really, the equivalent doesn't really exist for me here. Like, technically, we've got Netflix now. Uh, but, I don't know, I'm not terribly impressed with their... Or at least last time I checked it out, I was not terribly impressed with their selection of movies. Like, uh, yeah, particularly a lot of older stuff. Like, it's, yeah, a lot of the foreign stuff that I was, yeah, that I remember renting from, like, a uh, Blockbuster, or not Blockbuster, Rogers video back in the day. Like, a lot of those movies, like, weren't on there. I didn't see much, uh, or, like, there wasn't any Akira Kurosawa or, yeah, Akira Kurosawa or, what's, what's the other guy, uh, I think it's, uh, Takashi Miike. I'm sure I'm butchering these names, but, uh, yeah, Takashi Miike. Mikkei? I don't know. Some Japanese director. Anyways, yeah, I was a big fan of- I watched, like, pretty much every movie they- every movie of theirs that came into the store there, and, yeah, I was just- 
Oh, so many movies. I uh, watched a lot of, uh... I can't remember the name. The German guy who directed, uh, Das Boot. Which is how we got started on this whole tangent. U-boat into... Yeah, Russian submarine guys into Das Boot. Which, now that I think of it, were, they were... I believe they were Germans, not Russians, but... Whatever. Same thing, really. At least as far as, uh, stupid... I'm not really technical. I'm not an American, but you know, a, nor a stupid North American can tell. Uh, so yeah, that's. I guess that's that tangent. I <laughs> rental stores kind of miss them. Though I don't know. I hear Netflix has been getting better. It was, it was years since the last time I kind of checked out their selection. From what I understand, it's like a Canadian American thing where they just like a lot of the movies. They just, for some reason, don't have the rights to distribute in Canada, or at least they didn't last time I checked it out. I don't know, maybe it's better now. I'll have to, maybe, maybe I'll have to give that another look. Netflix. I'll put that onto my to-do list. And then honestly, I guess I, the question is, is there an equivalent service for video games? From what I understand, there is. The problem is, is that, uh... I have almost zero interest in, like, 90% of console games that are... or have way more than 90% of console games that are released these days. It's like... I, in fact, I remember I was, like... A friend of mine uh, mentioned to me... was over at my place the other... a uh, couple days ago. And he's like... We were just walking around outside, and he's like, Oh, you've got, like, all this stuff near your place. It's like, you're near the board game store and the video game store. I bet you spend a lot of money there. And I was just thinking... And I just realized, actually... No, I pretty much never ever go to the video game store because there's just because it's all console games in there and it's, there's just absolutely nothing that I'm interested in these days. I mean, sure, certainly there's games that I'm interested in. It's just I'd rather play the, like every single game that I want to play that's on console is also on PC, and they're better and it's better on PC. So, oh no, seal trap, my magic, it's all gone. I actually I've not seen a single spell ball on this run. That's kind of unusual. The curse, worthless. Or er, I've been sitting on this pita fruit the, the entire time. Okay, is that a sea seed? If that's a sea seed, we can go home. Yes, it's a sea seed. Sea seed. I got the sea seed going home with a sea seed. Feed it to the new well. Gonna make him to a water type and level up his magic. I don't. Sorry, I'm deeply. I I apologize profusely for. Everything that just transpired within the last 10 seconds or so. Um, Meef. I think it's... You know, one last run of feeding time. Or actually, might as well give you a level up while we're at it. And then put you to bed. And, uh... Yeah, then that'll be it. Man, this guy's tougher than I would have expected. Okay. Um, what are we gonna feed ya? Stream wand? No. My, it's worth a little, little bit. Oh. Olim, hell no. Oh, wait, no. Herpaderp, yeah, we're gonna feed him the pita first. Oh, God, if we tried to feed him the Olim fruit when he's asleep, that would definitely... Maybe he'll eat the Olim fruit now that he's awake, but if he's asleep, it'll definitely, like, do the Olim thing on him if you feed it to him, or if you hit him with it while he's asleep. Seriously? Is that a thing? Are items just, like, more likely to come up as, like, an item of the same type? If that's the case, I actually might want to feed him a sword. We could get, like, the super rare, what is it, Sword of Darkness, I think it is, or something? Or, oh, give him the wand. Get the training wand. That's some shit we could... Okay. It's a sand. Oh, well, sand is nothing to sneeze at. Red sand. Now we're at plus ten. Yeah, I got it right this time. Uh, that's me, impressed my, by my ability to remember back to things that happened less than ten minutes ago. Another sand! Oh, it's white. I mean, that's good, don't get me wrong, but um, not immediately usable. If I give him the bloom egg, will he spit up like another egg? I kind of don't want to try it. Oh yeah, that's our only wind crystal. I thought we had an extra for some reason, but no, we didn't bring one in, so that was actually our only... Wind Crystal... Actually, I'm pretty sure he'll just... Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, that's useless. I'm um, pretty sure that'll just... He'll spit that up with no effect. Okay, more sand. More white sand. Awesome, so... I guess we can, yeah, make use of that, uh... Of that extra Wind Crystal... Or those extra Wind Crystals that we 
pocketed after the last run. So yeah, we can use those to get ourselves... Oh yeah, some white, some white sand runs. I was completely blank and it's like, wait, why do I give a fuck about wind crystals? Yeah, so we can apply uh, the, just do a quick run to apply some white sands to our balls. I don't know, what balls? No, our, our uh, acid rain ball. Okay, although, yeah, that'll probably about do it then. So they will pretty much do, yeah, like an acid rain run where we level up the acid rain ball. And then, um, oops, oh, I pressed the God damn it. Oh well. Again, another excuse to talk to Fur. Oh, I could have sworn that. Or no, I think it's once you get the big house, then your girlfriends will wake you up in the morning. I think that's the way it works. But uh, regardless, actually, I guess we could do a Meef Nyoko run. Or, oh yeah, that's right. No, we. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a Meef. We're gonna go. Okay, well, but before we do anything, we need to clear out our inventory to see what we're actually working with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to clear out our inventory, see what we actually have to work with in terms of space, and then, yeah, we're going to fuse um, Barong with something, just to see if he has any special traits that might perhaps, inf I don't know, make him a fighter? I don't know why I care about. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see if uh, Barong has any like worthwhile traits. Maybe we want to, we maybe we do actually want to roche ourselves an, ourselves another Barong just to see just in case he has like a good unlockable like a good fusible trait. That would be pretty good. Really 200 Gs for a level up seed? It's crazy. Ooh, 5000 for the roche seed. Definitely worth every penny, I'm sure. Um bloom egg 800 Gs. Eh, 800 is not a whole lot now. We're, like, getting up to the point where we want to get, like, 100,000. So, yeah, we can keep that. We can keep that as fusion fodder. Okay, I make absolutely sure that we aren't selling things that we don't want to sell. want to keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep that. Keep these. Keep that. Awesome. 3,000... Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to need to do some major money runs. Oh, man, yeah, why, why did I think... Oh, yeah, that's right, Barong... Because, yeah, we, we got all those gold coins, so, yeah, we got, like, a couple thousand worth of gold coins. That's what makes Barong good. Okay. And, uh... I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do, yeah, one more quick, ma quick maintenance run, and then we'll do... That's not my house. Sorry. Just... Carry, carry, carry on. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, God. That would be, like, the most embarrassing... Yeah, just... I'm, I, actually, I'm sure that's probably happened to some of you guys sometime, where you just, like, stagger home, drunk, and it turns out it's not your home. Actually, I think that, I think my brother-in-law... Or no, my, uh, my sister... And, yeah, her husband had that happen to them once, where some drunk guy just stumbled into their house one day, uh, or one night, thinking that it was his house. <laughs> that was a funny, funny story. Funny and slightly scary story, but, yeah. They don't live in a good neighborhood. <laughs> we're, yeah, we're all hoping that they move out to a more decent neighborhood sometime. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. You guys don't even know my family. Um, Meef. Yeah, gold dime. Or, okay. Yeah, Bloom goes in the hut. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll use the Minova with, uh, or is it the Minova? Or no, Minova will overwrite, uh, overwrite his uh, fireness now that I think it's... So yeah, we need a wind monster. Um, oh right, yeah, 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 the Cyclone. Cyclone was the... Uh, uh, Cyclone was the one that we wanted to fuse with him. So okay, we'll go Cyclo. Uh, well, sure, you're gonna die in like a few minutes, but sure, we'll give you the dignity of a name. Uh, Biento. Tobin, Ula. Now this guy, this guy has the best names. I'm gonna have to like steal these for like if I ever, I don't know, make a fantasy. I don't know if I need names for fantasy characters. Biento, Rafael, Ulaga. I could do without maybe. Tobin is a good one. Um, we'll go with Biento. Or actually Breeze, because that's pretty much, pretty much what his life is. He's just like a swift breeze, just in and out. 
Oh, and yeah, it's appropriate. Oh, yeah, and it's a wind pun. Yeah, cyclone, breeze. Oh, I, I was accidentally clever there. And yeah, I suppose the game, to, the people who named him, who came up with these names, were actually deliberately clever. So props to the Azure Dreams translation team for once. Good name for a cyclone. <laughs> a pilot. <laughs> it's a, a pilot. A more appropriate than the actual name. Whereas, yeah, Cyclone sounds a bit more intimidating, whereas Breeze is just kind of like a piddling, worthless, non-threatening wind, which is more, kind of more appropriate for the kind of pet that a Cyclone is. Um, Mazar Seed, that can be used for Nyoko. Actually, maybe we just do a Monster Fusion run. I think that's maybe what we do. Okay, White Sands go in, Vita goes in. Mazar, I guess, yeah, we could do it that way. Um, just bring out... Okay, so get the Sea Seed, and what else? And yeah, we can do the Mazar Seed on the same run. And uh, level up Nyoko in the process. Assuming he doesn't have... Oh yeah, how is Le Nyoko doing on levels? Because yeah, if he's a long way from a level up... Oh yeah, that's definitely efficient to uh, give him that there. 